Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to edit your website with Weebly. Let's begin. Now, before you can edit your website with Weebly, I need you to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time on Weebly, I need you to click the sign up option. And from here, just follow with the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Editing your website with Weebly is a straightforward process, but you have to realize that Weebly has a drag and drop editor, which is, I find it very intuitive. It will allow you and all of the users with little technical knowledge to make changes easily. Now, once you are here, you see, there's going to be an option that says edit sign. I want you to click on that. And you would be forwarded to the website that you are currently customizing. And if you edit this, we're going to skip the domain name because I haven't purchased yet because we're going on this for training purposes only. All right, let me put an X on that. Now here, this is going to be the menu wherein you can put in basic text, right? You can drag and drop it here, right? You can customize your design with um all the content without needing to write any code drag and drop your text here as you can see it's loaded and maybe i can put in some text let me do that right now the text could be highly customizable you can you see you have an option to make it bold italize and underline you also have an option to change color let's do with that maybe like put a yellow you can also add a link. For example, I'm working on the Andy's Guides YouTube channel right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the Andy's Guides channel. If you haven't already, just click the subscribe button so you're, you'll be updated to every content that we upload daily. All right. It's all for you guys. I'm going to copy in the uh, YouTube link here so I can paste it to the Weebly website editor now once here i'm gonna click on the link this is gonna be the website link we have a separate video on how to add blog posts to your website we believe you might want to check that on our channel i'm gonna enter that you have an option to open in the window or not all right so once you've done that just click on okay and put it somewhere here now on the upper corner this is going to be for the desktop view. You also have an option for the mobile view. All right. Here, you can choose a variety of themes and templates that you can customize to match your brand's identity. You can easily update text here, images, and other content to keep your site current and relevant. I'm switching over to the desktop and I'm going to change the background. I'm going to click, click on the edit background to make it more dynamic. And I'm going to click on replace. Now you can select images from your computer or image URL, but I'm going to upload a photo directly from my computer. Now once it's loaded, just wait for it to um, save. I'm going to upload the image. You can also check, uh, check some select backgrounds here if you wanted. All right, there you go. And all I'm going to do is click on save and that's that. And again, you can simply go to the menu if you wanted. Now you can have uh, the tabs for services like... Um, see these are all highly customizable at this point of course you can drag and drop elements here like maybe gallery you can put in contact forms you can also embed code but we're going to have a separate video on how to embed code to make your website a little bit you know dynamic to optimize your site for search engines including options for meta tags descriptions and keywords and of course you have to regularly update and edit the content so that it can improve your search engine rankings and drive more traffics right you can also have a new structure for divider here spacer and a lot more now if you go to the menu again about the about section so again you can put in your youtube channel which is going to be for the end i'm going to click on that later all right you can also put in some media like video, audio, PDF, file, document, and um, say, for example, a file. Drag it here. You can put in the file as many as you want. You can click here to upload file. And you also have a more option here. The search box, block code, social icons, RSVP form. 
Now, we have a separate video on how to connect your Google AdSense to Weebly website. We're going to deal with that in a separate video. But basically, here, you can drag and drop here. So that you can help, it can help you generate more revenue from your website by automatically showing contextual ads targeted to your site uh, content. But don't worry because Weebly does not take any cut from the revenue generated. All I'm going to do is authorize, but I'm not going to show it yet. It's going to be for a separate video. And once you've done that, you can also install the apps. Click on the manage, wherein you can, when you visit the app center, they have so many um, apps that you can integrate with your Weebly website. You can manage all aspects of your site from a single platform, streamlining all the editing pla uh, processes here. You see you have the color block, social media icon, simple table, media gallery. And if you check the highest rated apps that is integrated well with Weebly, of course, there's Google Ads, Printful. We have so many um, Printful videos that you might want to check on our channel. Okay, we, we also have the Better Keeping Box, Privy, Easy Contact Form, Divider State 22. There's, there's a lot. It's up to you now to um, check that. You can search by category for e-commerce, for communication, for marketing. And of course, there are different sections for advertising email marketing seo social site tools and features all right so there's a lot that you can choose now we're, i'm gonna close this one and go back to the build pages you can select the themes that you wanted here for your menu all right the news contact and select the theme like the business portfolio personal event and blog so Basically, you can adjust content and design based on the insights to improve user experience and, of course, achieve business goals, especially if you are uh, moderating an online store or managing an online store because the ease of use and range of features provide a good value for the investment here on Weebly, all right? Now, after that, all you're going to do, once you're happy with editing your um your website i want you to click on publish but be mindful that you need to select your domain if you don't have a domain yet all right just click on search you just have to choose a domain and this is where people will find your website if you don't if you already have it just click on the connect or transfer it now you just need to have to enter your domain you can either transfer your domain to weebly or connect an externally managed domain to your site we're going to have a separate video on how to connect your domain to uh, weebly but the idea is just have to choose more options here at the back all right that's basically how you edit your website here on weebly now it will allow you to keep your site dynamic engaging with the evolving needs and goals simplifying the process of maintaining a professional looking website thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next video